and welcome back to the channel. It is a beautiful Friday evening here in Southeast Asia to be precise. Thank God it's Friday. Yeah, I'm already in beginning to enjoy my evening here in Southeast Asia, Malaysia to be precise. Wherever you are around the globe, you are highly welcome. Chelsea fans, we are waiting and expecting our coach, Portettino, to come and speak to us. Yes, I am waiting patiently. Usually he comes around by 1 o'clock, 1.30 p.m. Yeah, so in some about um, four hours from now, we should be hearing from the coach. But right now, I have a few things I want to discuss with you as a Chelsea fan. Chelsea news and some few other one or two from outside Chelsea Football Club. But quickly, yesterday, late afternoon, there was a training once again. Yes, preparation towards the Liverpool game. All that we want to see is a win. Chelsea fans, we won the first trophy under this new ownership. But I asked a question in a previous video. Would the win at Wembley change your mind against Pochettino? Do you think going forward, Port is the right coach to take us into the next seasons? Do you think so? I want to hear from you in the comment section. Meanwhile, from yesterday's training, here we go with the pictures. It was raining, yet the players were determined to get fit to be ready tactically for the game on Sunday against Liverpool. And therefore, even in the rain, they train. As you can see, yes, five from the training. Rain doesn't halt Wembley work out. <laughs> the rain could not stop them from training. Yeah. The rain could not stop them from training. There you see the right in your front. The first picture there is who? Conor Gallagher. The rain could not stop him. And you can see even the goalkeeper, Petrovic. Yeah, I think he's the one that enjoyed the most in that rain. He is the one that enjoyed the most in that rain. <laughs> hey, Petrovic seriously working out in the rain. You could see the way his body is so wet. It's so wet. Pochettino will speak to the media later today, like I said. Yeah, and as we wait, Nicholas Jackson hasn't haven't come back from AFCON. Haven't come back from AFCON. Started the month very very well while madrike and palmer have played important roles in the blues reaching the final nicola justin coming back play his part from afcon then go palmer and madrike they all played their part and you can see them right there in the training all right christopher Nkuku, however showcased his quality with a fine goal during our trip to anfield last month and also helped turn the game after his introduction against crystal palace in the premier league then there is Raheem Sterling, yes, who was spotting a new look as he prepared for the final. He prepared for the final. The winger netted last time out against Manchester City and has often performed well at Wembley, which is where he grew up. Now, when it comes to Raheem Sterling, this will be his sixth finals at the Wembley Stadium. Yes, this will be Raheem Sterling's sixth game at Wembley. And so he is excited. This is what he said. He said it will be a massive achievement to do that. Ryan Sterling on possibly, possibly winning his sixth EFL Cup. He said it will be a massive achievement to do that. When you when you had that taste for it, you always want more. And this game will be the exact same thing. We've got a great test this week against Liverpool. It's a good challenge against one of the most dominant teams in the last few years. That is Raheem Sterling. For him, it is a great challenge. It is something that motivates him. Knowing that he's going to win another trophy at Wembley, another EFL Cup, the sixth one at the EFL Cup, the sixth EFL Cup at Wembley. For him, the more you win, the more you want to win. Yeah. And as you can see him, he is fully prepared for the game. He is fully prepared for the game. All right. Before I go to other news, dear friend, I want to also speak on uh, on this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Chelsea, we are in the market for summer. We want a striker. But I want to tease your brain with this also. No player from Europe's top seven divisions has been directly involved in more goals no player in Europe top divisions have been directly involved in more goals in 2023-2024 than Victor Gregores. Yeah. So far, no player in Europe's top leagues have been directly involved 
in more goals than Victor Gilcares. He played the three games so far this season, scoring 29 goals and gave 10 assists. It seems Gilcares is the man. Chelsea fans, <laughs> ah, who would you like Chelsea to sign? Who would you want Chelsea to sign in the next summer? Gilcares, Osimen, or Ivan Tony? Let me hear from you in the comment section. I am leaving this open before our coach comes to give us a press, you know, the briefing. I want to hear from you massively in the comment section there. Who would you want Chelsea to sign? Gary Curris, he scored 29 goals already this 2023 2024 season. Gave 10 assists in 33 games. No striker in Europe top leagues is near him. Let me know what you think in the comment section, dear friend. All right? I understand this from Fabrizio Romano. I understand Eric Ramsey has just signed the contract as new Minnesota United head coach. Ramsey leaves Manchester United staff with immediate effect to become the youngest MLS head coach ever at 32. Exclusive story confirmed by Fabrizio Romano. Yes, Eric Ramsey is part of the technical team or coaches in Manchester United currently, but he finally left. He's leaving them as the youngest coach to coach in the MLS. He signed a contract with the, with the new Minnesota United team become their head coach so he's leaving manchester united with immediate effect immediate effect actually this deal was supposed to take effect from in the summer from june but right now i think there is a great need in minnesota so he's leaving with immediate effect exclusive story confirmed by fabrizio romano all right okay before i let you go dear friend yeah before i let you go i want to first uh, last but not the least yeah last but not the least here right now on this channel we give you exclusives only exclusives 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 okay matiz the legit situation at fc bayern will be assessed again as soon as the club will decide who's gonna be the new manager the legit want to play more and the situation is not easy under thomas Tuchel. psg were showing interest in january then now, PL clubs, that's Premier League clubs, also keen for the summer. So the legend might have to stay until the summer, but that will also depend on the incoming coach before Bayern will decide whether to sell him or to keep. Whether to sell or to keep. All right? Then, when it comes to another player who signed for Bayern, and he signed because he saw his friend going there, or his friend is already there, is who? Eric Dyer. Eric Dyer is unlikely to stay at Bayern Munich beyond the summer, with the German side concerned about his lack of pace. So, Eric Dyer might be returning back to the Premier League in the summer for the, his lack of pace. You know, he's, he's not a young man. He's not young. Eric Dyer should be above 30. If you are 30, you are 32. Yeah, he's not young any longer. So, his pace actually should... Well, it depends on the system you want to play. And with a coach who signed him going. Likewise, likewise, even Harry Kane himself. If and if Eric Dyer will be leaving the summer, there is a greater possibility that even Harry Kane will be returning back to the Premier League. Knowing fully well that the coach who signed him, the coach, Thomas Tuchel, is leaving. Harry Kane, and with the dressing room issues, that Harry Kane is in support of the coach and so uh, Kimmich and some other players are not in support of the coach. That misunderstanding in the dressing room alone could force a player like Harry Kane even to return back to the Premier League. And many suggested, I heard it, many suggested even yesterday that Chelsea could go in for him. If Chelsea really wants a striker, Harry Kane already a Premier League product with experiences, Chelsea can just go in for Harry Kane. But... Well, we wait to see. <laughs> I didn't comment on that yesterday. It was in the news. I didn't want to comment on it because I, for me, I don't see the, uh, the possibility right there. I don't see the possibility. The love that Hurricane has for Tottenham I don't, and the rivalry between Tottenham and Chelsea, the rivalry between Tottenham and Chelsea, I don't see Hurricane coming in. Even though one of his coaches, his best coaches ever, Pochettino, is now the Chelsea manager, but I don't see the possibility. Well, but anything can happen in the football world, dear friend. For now, let me leave you here. I will come back with exclusive from the coaches' press conference. 
press conference. See you when you see me, dear friend. Shalom and peace.